Hey Reefers, it's Mindy and welcome back to Mindy's Coral Reef. Today I want to talk to you about my corals and what I do to keep them looking awesome and growing like crazy. I've had so many people ask me what I do to keep my corals looking great. So today I want to fill you in on everything that I do including the lighting, the water, what's underneath the tank to what I do to feed them. I also want to thank everyone who supported me on my Patreon page. Your support is appreciated more than you know. And for more information on my Patreon page, you can find it in the information section of this video. And again, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button in the corner below and hit the bell notification right beside it so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's get on to the fun part. So we're going to start with the lighting and for the lighting I have two AI Hydra 52 HDs. So originally I only had one and then I added two which made a huge difference. Um, you can see how vibrant my color is and how much brighter it is. Since I added the two, the corals have taken off completely. I mean, especially like my, my green star polyps have just flourished and are just taking over. I mean, you can see these guys over here. My Gorgonian is just growing like crazy. I mean, my Acans. Everything in the tank, I can say because of the lighting, is definitely grown tremendously because of the lighting. If it wasn't for the lighting in particular, they wouldn't be doing as well as they are. So the lighting is a huge part of the reason they are doing so well. Another huge factor is the current in the tank. I have a lot of current in my tank. Uh, I have two Vortex MP10s in the tank, one on each side, which are wave makers. They go back and forth. And you can see how much current I have in here. Um, I have this the Zania over here, uh, which takes over the tank. And I actually have to trim it on a regular basis because it grows tremendously. If you look over here, it's, it's like a carpet. I mean, literally, it's almost like hair. It, the thing just waves like crazy and it actually shadows my, my other corals because it just kind of takes over. And, but it loves the current there and it just takes over. Um, so does my Gorgonian right here. It just loves the current. And so that is a huge part of that and it just kind of goes all over the tank all the way down to my frog spawn which is right down here. The frog spawn also loves the current and so does these are my australian wild caught duncans which loves the current also and i have more green star polyps back here too that love the current so again you want to make sure that you have great equipment when it comes to current and wave makers and all that stuff because that goes great into the play of making sure your corals are happy and that they are growing and multiplying and and being very vibrant and colorful. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is your water parameters, which is extremely important, probably more important than the other things that we've actually discussed already. So when it comes to your parameters, the main things that I focus on are calcium, 
alkalinity, magnesium, and iodine. Those are the main things that I focus on and make sure that are perfect. So when it comes to calcium, I focus on it being around 450. And that's what I aim for, is 450. When it comes to alkalinity, I'll aim for the range of 3.2 to around 3.6. That's my range of where I go for for alkalinity. That's really important. Uh, when it comes to my magnesium, I will go for a range around 1350. And I just started doing magnesium, I will say that. Uh, and I do notice a huge difference, especially in my one of my Montes. I had noticed looking a little bit brittle and since adding the magnesium, he's been a lot more, I've just noticed just a lot more, just looking very healthier and the color's been better and he's thicker and growing a lot better. So magnesium, I do know is very important. And then when it comes to iodine, I'll add iodine about twice a week. And I add, I add about one drop per 20 gallons of Lugol's iodine. So basically, you wanna make sure that all of those things are perfect in your tank. Uh, they're very important to make sure that your corals are happy, that they're growing, and that they're vibrant and healthy. Because without those things, and without checking them on a regular basis, you don't know where everything is, and your corals will definitely not do well. So I check those at least twice a week, if not three times a week, to make sure that everything is perfect at all times. Okay, so and down below the tank, I have my wet and dry system, obviously, I've shown you guys this before. And I have my UV right here. I have a protein skimmer. I have a poly filter bag and I also have a carbon, a carbon bag down in here, um, in between here. I'm constantly changing my filter, my filter uh, pad right here in the wet and dry. And uh, I have my temperature gauge right here which I keep my temperature at 77 degrees, which everyone stays happy at, 77 degrees within the tank. So this is what I have below here, and I have an additional fan down here in case it gets a little bit warm. The fan comes on to keep it at 77 degrees for everyone to stay happy. I target feed my corals once to twice a week with refroids from Polyp Lab. I do the same to feed my Gorgonians, Ultra Sea Fan by Fauna Marin. And for my sponges, I use Reef Phytoplankton by Seachem. And this is my go-to tool for feeding, cleaning, and just about everything in the tank. You can find more info and where to purchase these items in the information section of this video.
All right guys, so that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was very informative and answered all your questions. But if I didn't, make sure to leave it in the comments below and I'd love to answer any questions that you have. I appreciate all the positive feedback. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and hit that notification bell right beside it so you don't miss any future videos to come. Can't wait to see you in my next video and I will see you guys very shortly. Thanks again and have a great day. Bye.